Hello, everybody, and welcome back to m j Games. I am Michael, and I am really excited as today I have a special guest joining me for the PS4 Park Tour version, and I am joined by none other than Beneath. So, Beneath, how are you doing, man? Fine, thank you. I'm really glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me on your channel. And uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, especially in English. So, <laughs> real quick disclaimer for me. Uh, sorry if I make some mistakes uh, to speak in English, but I will do my best. And thank you again. Uh, I'm really excited to to see your work and see your your content. So glad to be here. Yeah, finally. Yeah, of course, man. Um, so just uh, I re I really appreciate it as well. And um, you know, it's a uh, Honestly, kind of going through like Planet Coaster and meeting people from all over the world and stuff through this and talking, it really makes yeah. me wish that I would have um, um, <clears throat> learned learned my foreign languages better when I was in high school so <laughs> and in college <laughs> yeah. um, so that I didn't expect everybody else to just speak English. So, <laughs> um, yeah, as I did take French in college, but I'll be honest, I don't remember too much of it. Um, so, but I like I really appreciate you joining me for this because I really really admire the work you do, and you Thank know I want everybody to make sure who doesn't know your channel to go check it out because your new series that you're working on is like the level of detail is just insane, um, and I think you know what you did on Xbox was amazing, but I do think the console limitations like kind of held you back from the creativity standpoint. Um, so yeah, yes. make sure to go check out Benice's channel. So thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you uh, for for this little uh, promotion, yeah. And uh, sure, the the new series it's is really. Uh, uh, I'm so glad to 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 work on PC right now to work uh, to play on PC right now, but um, yeah, I hope I will uh, I will get uh, better and better uh, as I play on uh, on PC. It's it's such a different uh, things, and uh, yeah, now I don't have any limitation, so I can do anything, everything, and. Uh, uh, I'm so happy to to to, to start the, this new series. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll make sure and put the link below in the description. So this was just kind of giving you a overview of the park before we kind of get started. And I kind of went through this in flip cam mode just because I think oh, you know, yeah. you know, it's kind of best to view it, especially with some of the like the the sight lines. Um, yeah, and this park. you can uh, you can zoom in some parts really and uh, to see. Uh, uh, some place that are really far and when you zoom in it's it's such a different thing to to be just uh, with the regular camera i, I guess yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah oh you you have put a uh, uber station taxi uh, cab station and yeah i kind of get the idea from from disney where you know they have like um i don't yeah. know if, the, um, if disneyland paris has this or anything but especially like hollywood studios they kind of have everything numbered on the outside and then below they kind of have the different ones and by the way, I put your adventure resort up there. So oh, yeah, <laughs> nice thing. It's yeah, it's uh, that that roof is really Disneyish. Yeah, you know, uh, that type of roof you made uh, with the two uh, strip lights. It's it's a kind of uh, mm -hmm. a typically Disney uh, Disney things. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, I like this for somewhere. sure. And you know, if in my mind, all of our parks are in the same universe, so you can just take a bus from one to the other. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, uh, so that's kind of the that's kind of the entryway for buses and um, drop offs and stuff. And mm -hmm. so here's kind of you know just kind of the entrance to the park. And I don't know if you've seen videos of it or images of it, but I definitely modeled yeah. this after Carowind. Definitely, but la, right, but right now uh, I'm in the park, completely in the into into it, and uh, it's really different um, from uh, when you. Uh, just um, make uh, uh, speed builds or everything because now you can see uh, the real height, the real haste of um, uh, of uh, your coaster mm -hmm. and the entrance with the the um, uh, the, the coaster that uh, pass uh, upper the, the the entrance is really nice. Yeah, this effect is really cool. Yeah, I appreciate <laughs> like it. Like this to go down there. Yeah, I think it's honestly, I think this turned out better than I imagined because for me, it, it's always, I don't know about you, but it's always tough kind of starting out parks because I'm kind of like, yeah. you know, I got to have a good vision for it, obviously. So I'm trying to think about like, okay, how do I want this to look? And I just love, um, 
I just love the look of Fury 325 kind of as you enter. Um, and so, you know, I kind of got some inspiration for this. Like I, I just look at Google Maps a lot and kind of look down the first person view and tried the best I could kind of model the kind of look of this bridge. Oh, um, it's so nice. Uh, I didn't notice all the vegetation work that you made uh, just above the, the the bridge. It's it's really it's really nice, really impressive because you just uh, made like a uh, big steps for mm -hmm. uh, the vegetation. It's really cool. Yeah, I really appreciate it. And um, I used a little trick here for because I don't ever use like I don't do fast passes because you know how much the queue. Um, the queue lines oh. kind of kill the counter. And so yeah. what's the point of having information boost? So I just put a restaurants or not restaurants, but food and drink places inside that and kind of made a window just to make it look like that's an actual ticket window. Um, oh, yeah, that's nice. And so like my whole entrance entrance area is, it's not exact as Carowinds, but it's just kind of modeled after it. And I wanted to kind of get a good video here of the coaster kind of flying by. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, that. so that turnaround, like... I also custom supported the coaster, which took a while, but I tried to look at images and see how the supports looked. And I think for me, like that's, I'm so happy with how that turned out because whatever that, I always forget the name of that, <laughs> whatever type of an um, element that is, but I think it worked out really well. Yeah, it worked really well. You you always did a, a good job on the on on the custom supports, and mm -hmm. this is this is one thing I I'm not really comfortable with it because it's really tricky and uh, you just have to take a look at a lot of picture to to uh, to do it well. But uh, you you did it really nice, especially on this coaster. Oh, oh thank you, you so much. So here, this is the locker. I mean, mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I created those, which I've kind of seen somewhat lockers that other people have made. And my, um, our UK friends have rubbed off on me, and I call them push chairs now instead of strollers. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> nice. and then these little um, these little booths are just made out of art pieces, so or nice. art shapes. Uh, for it's, I think it's a uh, really um, realistic entrance. They are mm -hmm. all the. Uh, item that you can find on the entrance uh, in a ticket booth, uh, trolley, and uh, mm. and everything. No, it's you, you, you. You think uh, on everything. It's the backstage right here. Yeah. So this is this oh, is kind of nice. an unfinished backstage because I haven't really developed that side of the park yet. Um, and I'm not, I'm not doing necessarily as much with backstages as I maybe have in previous parks, just because, you know, we, we're kind of limited with the limit, right? <laughs> um, yeah. To say the least. But, um, man, I love the way these chair swings look in the game. So I just was trying to figure yeah. out how I wanted that kind of initial part to look kind of when you walked in. And I think it looks really majestic kind of having the chair swing there. And then this area is going to be, I say next year, but it's like I'm thinking about like, if this was a real park, that part's under development, right? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. No, you, you, you're right. You're yeah. Right. No, it's it's a tiny place, but I hope and I, I imagine that in the future you already have your plan for for what it's behind uh, this wall. Yeah, for sure. And at the end of the video, I kind of kind of discuss just we'll, we'll talk about just a little bit about kind of where where I'm thinking about going forward. And honestly, I had never seen this view before I started filming this. And I realized, oh man, you can see like this is an amazing view of of that Giga coaster. <laughs> it just oh, flew yeah, by the, the entrance there. <laughs> the line is pretty cool. It's really really cool. Uh, I'm I'm really fan of uh, those parks when you 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 can see the 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 drop of the coasters just uh, uh, on top of the line of the parks. It's really really nice and really ex exciting. Yeah, I definitely definitely agree. I think it's. You know, for these areas, I'm. I think the part for me that I kind of still struggle with, I feel like, is creating buildings. And so I'm trying to look at real life parks and see how the buildings are made. Plus, watching other YouTubers. But this was kind of like a last second decision to kind of make this viewing point. And oh, I don't. It's, yeah, it's I was really like, nice. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was it's, like. I think it's the most impressive view that we have right now. I was like, yeah, the 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 view. On the entrance was really, really, really nice, but this one is, uh, mm -hmm. it's better, I guess. The, the yeah. drop of the oh, that coaster is really impressive. 
I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so I was trying to get some good lighting because I think there was in one of the episodes earlier, I kind of changed the lighting. I realized like some of the views are just incredible at kind of sunrise and sunset yeah. with that coaster. Um, yeah. That's one thing with Planet Coaster. I think that is just amazing is the sunrise and sunset lighting that you get. Um, mm. I know lighting inside of stuff is not great, but just some of the views we get from time to time are really, really nice in my opinion. Yeah, true. But it's I think it's a bit of shame that we don't have the same uh, graphic render of uh, as a Planet Zoo. That, mm. uh, yeah, agreed. That did it a, a lot better that uh, we have in uh, Planet Coaster, but I guess uh, it's. It's enough. Yeah, agreed. It's still good. And you know what? This is the worst thing when you accidentally get stuck on the roof. <laughs> yeah. <mode. laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know why the 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 video can jump down from this, but yeah, it's cool. I don't know either. Um, and so I got a little backstage area right there for the where the cars would go. Um, so this is uh, our first ride of our journey in your park, and yeah, we are starting yeah. from from the cars. Yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed. I do speed it up to times two in a second because these things you just kind of they kind of inch around. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, and, it's nice. Sometimes after after the lunch, you need to to get some rest, and you don't want to to make big coaster just after take your a lunch. So <laughs> that type of ride it is uh, is nice. Yeah, it's the yeah. Yeah, well, and this choice. is the kids kids area of the park too, so it's just um, um, you know just making sure everything's uh, everything's good with that. Um, and so I think the you know I tried to have this area in mind of like I mean like for example if you take a real theme park, there's a ton of flat rides compared to coasters, right? Um, yeah, yeah. But with having this limit, I realized in my previous park and the fact we can only have four thousand riders per or four thousand guests, it's like if you have too many rides, it's just the park seems empty. So I wanted to, instead of having 10 coasters, maybe have like six, you know, and instead of having 14 flat rides, have like 10 or something, just cut it down just enough. And so I put two flat rides in here, um, yeah. along with the, a couple of coasters and uh, that track ride for the guests. Um, and so all custom fencing as well. And really happy with how this turned out. Yeah, no, it's really nice. I mean, uh, even some fence, some uh, yeah, some fence objects in the game are pretty nice, but custom fencing is way better. Mm -hmm. And you did it so well with those pillar uh, and uh, the light uh, in the in the top of it. I really like it. I appreciate good it. Good job. A yeah, really good job. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it. And then I like um, this is one thing because I know you reckon. I think it says before you recommend Shift C to me. Um, he does a lot yeah. of that where. He kind of merges, takes the, and this is the first ever gazebo I made, so pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, you know, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good for a first effort. Um, but he does a lot of this where he takes the the module planner pieces that are like, um, uh, you know, like uh, dirt and stuff make, to make it look like um, a flower bed, yeah. and he kind of merges it with the grass. And so that's one thing I've really started to try to do. To kind of make it look like realistic flower beds and stuff, um, and so yeah, and then yeah, it's it's really a nice idea. You, you can uh, put uh, some flowers anywhere. It's just uh, take uh, uh, bring a lot of details with uh, uh, less effort. So yeah, it's a nice idea. You can uh, you can do it with uh, rocks, mm -hmm. little rocks. It works. It works nice. Yeah, nicely. yeah, that's so true. This is, uh, this is the the wooden. What is this name? I just I, I didn't. Uh, oh, Little Dipper. Understand. Sorry about that. I need to actually name it on the coaster. <laughs> I always forget <laughs> to do that. Um, I, I I I never do that. I <laughs> I, I always uh, forgot to change the the name of the of the ride. So uh, all my ride in the uh, planet coaster uh, uh, got the the real uh, the planet coaster ride name. Yep. Agreed. Me too. Um, yeah. So this is the first wooden coaster, and yeah, sometimes I I try to model it after like GCI type. Um, but I guess yeah. it could be technically considered either. I just kind of like the idea of it being smaller, but still having this this really kind of cool first drop. Yeah, really cool first 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 drop, and those hair time are really nice in in the 
in real life and uh, mm -hmm. also in the in, in the game you make it uh, really smooth i and appreciate it's not, that it's not it's not easy i'm not i'm not really uh, comfortable to to build a nice and smooth coaster mm -hmm. um, I'm oh, uh, I can I can I can build uh, buildings and uh, stuff, but with coaster I'm not I don't have your level. <laughs> uh, I'm, I think you do, man. You do a great job as well. I think for me, it's just taking a lot of a lot of practice. And this is one thing I've noticed too. I don't know if you can tell on the fencing there is just taking that chain link fencing, but just adding those um, scaffolding pillars yeah. to it to yeah. kind of. It just kind of adds an ex another level of detail that makes it look really nice. Um, yeah. I'm kind of trying to learn those little things that just, it's not much, but it does add that extra extra detail to it. Um, oh, it's nice. And I forgot nice. to open this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but it, it's nice. It's not uh, it's not a big coaster. It's uh, just under the, the, the really big one. And mm -hmm. I, I guess it's it's add a lot of sense to, to be here. And I like this uh, type of uh, of queue line, who, where you just walk under the the rails. Right. Yes. yes. Um, and and that thing right there was one that I just kind of decided to put in at the end. But I think it, you know, just as it goes up, it looks pretty cool on the skyline. Um, yeah. Yeah. Really happy with how this one turned out. There is one spot that it it kind of. And we ride it once in front bumper view, and then we'll ride it spinning because I think the spin is pretty good, controlled overall. There's one part where it spins kind of quick, and no matter how much I tried, it just it was just too tight of a turn. Um, as you know, it's such a small area, so it's just too tight of a turn to where it kind of spun it a little bit too quick. But um, yeah, happy with how this turned out. Actually, Angry Emerald um, was the one who recommended I build this coaster in this spot. Um, because you know, it it is more geared as a not necessarily a kids coaster, but they're more like family rides, right? Yeah, well, I, I think this this is the type of ride that every everyone can can go on. It's not really intense, intensive, but it's, but it's still a it's still a good one. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Um, I forgot to put a garage door on that transfer track, so I gotta do that. But I love how the station turned out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice, really realistic. Uh, always the uh, transfer tra 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 track that you are uh, you are doing is is really nice. Uh, you always did a, a great job on that. On great job on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't notice that um, the the cars are spinning uh, in the in the lift. This is the first time I I, I see this. Oh, nice, uh, nice turn. Yeah, this is definitely the one you don't go after the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's the one spot where it kind of whips you pretty good. Um, yeah. These things are, it can be pretty tough to control the spinning properly. Yeah, but it's not too aggressive. It's, this is, uh, I'm not shocked by, by the, the way the car is spinning. It's, it's fine mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, it kind of gives the last little kick at the end. Um, <laughs> yeah, just kind of doing a quick overview of the area. Um, kind of what are your thoughts of this kids area? I know it's not necessarily themed to anything that's kids like, but um, what are your thoughts? Uh, I guess I, I think it's uh, it's well designed because uh, you have a really uh, you have a big uh, large place and all the the rides and stuff are um, around it. And you can, in you have a, a small ride uh, in the in the center. You have a smaller uh, food court uh, for the um, food court in the center. So no, it's 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 really really well designed. You have the backstage here. Yeah, it's uh, you, you did a great job on that. Yeah, <laughs> you can be proud it. because oh, you you put detail on the on the on the maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not not able to do this in everyone just because of you know the extra piece count that that does add. Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm trying to yeah, trying to get 
I always try to do stuff different than maybe done before. Like this one, I, I didn't decorate the interior, but I did, you know, at least have the, the visual of having that transfer track that, um, yeah, it's kind of a road leading important. to it and stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's nice. And I love the, the fencing work that you did on the, on this zone, on this area. Uh, it's bring a lot of, uh, a lot of realism in it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So yeah. this is the exit of the ride? Yeah, this is the exit. Um, and then we're going to head up to the, the other, the more thrill seekers area of the park. Um, and, uh, you know, just I, this was the area that I've done last, and I'm super happy with just how this has turned out. Um, as we kind of go down here to look at this, take a quick look at this. Uh, Storage um, and everything. Yeah, a little yeah. maintenance area for for it, and didn't do anything right. inside. And um, but yeah, I'm just really happy with how this um, this turned out. With and we go up this way just because I want to show the the view if guests are coming this way, and you can kind of barely see the top of that um, that invert coaster. Oh yeah, so this is a little teaser of what's yeah. what's there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. and yeah, so I think this is, in, in my opinion, the best area I've built of any park that I've had just with sight lines and kind of detailing on, on, uh, some of the buildings and stuff, a little backstage. It's not great because I couldn't really get the ground all level how I wanted, but you know, yeah, but no, it's still, it's still nice because you have a large, uh, really large uh, path for the uh, maintenance and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, storage and everything so i think it seems realistic to me yeah. yeah um and then i wanted to have some kind of building here that kind of blocked the line of sight to the the coaster um and man those those like uh sun, i think that's called the sundial but those frisbee rides just look awesome um yeah it's really massive i i, I never saw this ride in real life uh, uh, i hope i will i will have the chance to to write it once yeah. but uh pretty intense really <laughs> yeah yeah um we don't have it in france so maybe maybe when uh i would there i would go in uh in usa or yeah yeah and so i just love how that like i said how that turned out with kind of the visual from wherever you are in this section you just get great visuals of that coaster you know you got bathrooms up here some little fake stairs nice. to make it look like it steps um yeah and you know that that part right there is not perfect, but that's basically what I had to do with the step up of trying to get it level. And I called this Jasmine's Shake and Burger or Shakes and Burger. Okay. Um, it's really nice. Uh, which uh, words did you use for the for the restaurant? This which words the, did I uh, use for the the chicken burgers, the uh, yellow ones? I it's can't brick remember. Or wooden, or woods. Yeah, I, um, I think it's wooden signs. Um, I can't remember okay. to be sure. I just know um, that building, I got the idea from a PC park that I had, I had seen. And um, so I kind of modeled it after that. And I forgot which one I actually used. Um, I think this little, and I'm trying to, I was trying to add more elevation with my park too, whether it's um, really nice. hills or terrain or even areas like yeah. this. And so it's pretty cool that no matter what side you're on, or no matter, if you're sitting there, you can sit there and watch the invert, or you can turn to the other side and watch the Giga Coaster. So, really happy with how it turned out. A, yeah, it's really, it's really nice. You can have a full <clears throat> view of all the area, and especially on the, on the, on the invented. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I so, saw the, I saw the train go over the lift uh, when you, when you were speaking, and uh, it's real, it was really nice. I like the, uh, I always. Uh, I'm a big fan of uh, inverted coasters. I mm -hmm. think it's my favorite ones. Uh, we don't have much in France, but uh, this is really, really a, a cool type of ride. Stormkeeper, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, Stormkeeper. And I think I forgot to name it on the coaster again. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's just the basic queue for Sky Screamer, which every... So this is basically like a Cedar Fair Park. Um, and every Cedar okay. Fair Park has one of those, at least that I've been to, and they call them skyscreamers. Um, but I got the I got the idea for this coaster from Banshee, which is at Kings Island, um, <clears throat> and it's not the exact same, but it's kind of the first drop and first inversion is kind of like it. 
And then instead of doing kind of a zero G roll over it, it does a loop um, around the lift hill. But I just kind of wanted to to have something that kind of looked majestic from the um, that you could see from from kind of the plaza area. And so really happy with how it turned out in the queue. And so we'll kind of see right here just the, the visual that guests yeah. get as the coaster kind of goes through the layout. Um, so really happy with how it turned out. This is the perfect place for the queue line. You can you can see the train go just uh, just on top of your head. Mm -hmm. uh, you can you can hear the the visitor screaming in yeah. it. So yeah, this is the perfect place. And uh, again, you you did a, a great job on the custom support. It's very impressive. Yeah, I appreciate it. So actually, I, I didn't do is... any custom supports on this one. Yeah. I just um. I just removed some of them, so I basically did like every other track piece having supports. Oh, I'm am su surprised that uh, the the default one are are this good. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good with inverts, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's about they just give too many of them, so I tried to shorten them up. Um, but it's interesting, like these coasters honestly get to me more than any other coaster in real life, and I think it's like I think it's just because it's so different that. This one, along yeah. with like the flying coasters, where you kind of lay down, yeah. those are the two that, if I ride too much, can kind of can kind of mess with me a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm really happy with how this yeah. turned out. Yeah, and the fact that you don't have any uh, any train uh, above your above your um, your feet, it's uh, it's way different uh, than the regular coaster. I oh mean, yeah, for sure. The, the sit down one, yeah. When, yeah, very uh, different. Yeah, when your foot, your foot, uh, just um, go th through the uh, scenery and uh, and vegetation, it's so nice. Yeah, nice, nice, uh, and really, really cool uh, inversion. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, um, I like that ending there. How you kind of do the barrel roll into the last turn. And now I did do this whole custom kind of catwalk area. Um, so I did that on a live stream because I was bored one day. I wanted to try live stream, and I was like, "Hey, I'll make this," and that was a lot of fun to do. Um, not not yeah. too crazy with scenery, just you know, once again, piece count because I'm already at like 67 percent, um, and you know, I'll use I'll use the cheat to get about 120 to 130 percent, but you know, want to kind of be mindful of stuff going forward. I I I'm I'm really a fan of this uh, of this um this um transfer track. You did uh, really nice it. It's really 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 cool. Oh thank you. One other thing I've so been, realistic. Yeah, oh yeah, thank you. One other thing I've been trying to do too is you know, adding some more of these kind of detailing to the the pathways and stuff and kinda of what I mean by that is having this um, whenever I stop filming this frisbee, <laughs> um, <laughs> it, uh, you know, kind of on the edge, you have this almost like a dual colored pathing, and then you kind of separate the two just using some, you know, yeah. basic pieces, whether it's like, uh, there's a lot of different pieces you can use, but over there on the left, and it kind of has a cool kind of, it just kind of separates the path differently, you know? Um, yeah, and it's bring a lot of details, a lot of realism, and, uh, yeah, it's a really nice idea. I, I, I thought I never, uh, never did this before. But I guess, but uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a really nice uh, idea. Oh, it's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have nothing in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, the wrong door. <laughs> that was funny though. Was for everybody who got a quick glimpse of that, because of how low I have the ceiling compared to how the shops need to be. Some of them I had to place like halfway in the ground. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, it works out. And then I love how this, this might be my favorite station I made so far in the park. Um, modeled after Goliath at Six Flags over Georgia. This has kind of got a similar look to it. And um, I think the queue turned out really nice as well. I don't know if you've done this too much, but those big bushy trees that we just saw, they, um, I just basically took those. I think they're the Kapuk trees. And I, um, Every time I placed one, I would use the, the normal move tool and I'd lower it a little bit and turn it 90 degrees and do that three or four times. And it creates this like more, um, more full tree that's also looks like it's yeah. more from the ground up. Um, so I really like how yeah. this kind of turned out. I think it's uh, the good way to do it. And it's, uh, it feels like really uh, a natural uh, when uh, you, you, 
you will take a picture. Uh, far from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna hop on the coaster in a second, but just wanted to give a a visual real quick of the front of the station. Um, the station is it's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty good. And uh, I saw that you put the number of mm -hmm. the yeah for the train. Yeah, that's my first time so, ever doing that. So um, I guess yeah, happy I will with pick that. Up the, the nine, the number nine, best place for a ride, last row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then a little, little small backstage here. Um, I have this little building. Because that's one thing I've noticed with backstages looking on Google Maps is like they have little buildings behind them that I don't know what, you know, who knows what's in there. But and there's a lot of these extra little buildings. And so I just kind of I wanted to show this real quick. And, you know, for any of the workers who just want to sit out here and get a good look at the coaster. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so I but, definitely, uh, I not only took inspiration from, um, from Fury on this, but it, Orion as well. So I try to take some inspiration from Orion at Kings Island for its transfer track and stuff. And yep, once you hop out of Plip Cam, <laughs> <laughs> takes you back to where you started. I forgot to edit that part out, but oh well. Um, you put light on the on the on the lift. Yeah. yeah. Those are my and favorite to use just because they don't like, they don't necessarily light up a ton, but they also don't look unnatural being placed like that. You yeah. know, some of them you place, they just don't look natural. Um, Security cam, check. Yeah. Well, I'm interested that's, to hear your thoughts on this coaster too. That, that first drop, it's really impressive. Thank you. And uh, as a. Uh, as always, everything is really smooth and uh, yeah, it feels like really natural. Whoa, like like this turn. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, honestly, doing the custom supports was not that bad. It was just a matter of once I kind of got a couple built, I basically just copied and pasted it over and over again and adjusted the height and um, moved some things. I think the it's a little more tedious doing the lift hill supports because I kind of had to. I looked at a picture of Fury to try to see okay how these supports looked and some of them lean and so I was trying to get it to look exact and that was a little bit tedious too just trying to make sure that everything looks proper but I'm really really happy with how this coaster turned out as with all the coasters in the park. Yeah, yeah, all the coasters of the park of the park are, are such a such a good. Uh, yeah, they they are impressive. I, I I like them. I like them all. Hey, that uh, that slope uh, slope break is really realistic. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think it maybe maybe goes in a little bit too fast right there, but hey, it's all good. Um, yeah, I just want to take. A, I don't really do cinematic shots like this too much, but just will kind of give us a good look of how the coaster looks, kind of flying around the park. Um, yeah, it's uh, and these coasters in real life like. Um, you know, I went to Kings Island this past year and riding Orion, it's like those things just look so majestic when you're walking up really? to them, like seeing something that's 300 feet tall in the air like that, it's just crazy. Oh yeah, I can imagine, uh, I hope the, I hope I can, uh, uh, I will have the chance to, to, to get on those one, one, one day of my life because uh, yeah. this is uh, really impressive. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what's your um, what is your favorite type of coaster? Like to whether it's like what's your favorite type of coaster to build in the game, and then maybe what's your favorite type of coaster in real life? Uh, in real life, I I don't I didn't ride a lot of type of a lot of different type of coaster. Mm -hmm. uh, I ride the, the old Vekoma one that we have on the Space Mountain in yep. Disneyland, Paris. I ride the uh, B and M. But the inverted that we have in uh, Parc Asterix in France, okay, and a uh, small uh, mining coaster uh, from Mac, I guess. Uh, yeah. But that's all. Um, no, that's that's not all. We have all, we also have um, I also ride um, wooden coaster. Yeah. yeah. From uh, Gravity Group. And uh, yeah, I think my favorite one to ride it's inverted, inverted. from BM. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really cool. And in the in the game, 
my my favorite one it's the mind train mind train okay the, yeah because this is the one where you can do the most um you can put the most uh, of scenery the most object you can uh, use the the terrain to make a, a tunnel and uh, mm -hmm. elevation so i think this is the this is my favorite one oh yeah that's cool and what about you yeah um yeah as i say man the, gosh i gotta figure out a different sign to use there is they're kind of showing through the wall there that i use for that building um as i said i think my favorite i mean i like all the areas in the park that i've made uh, i definitely think the area with those two coasters kind of stands out to me with that plaza and how it looks um yeah so what That's are your overall really thoughts nice. as we kind of wrap up or Actually, you know what, before we do that, I think real quick, because I'm going to, I think I show a little bit of footage over here. And so this is where I'm going to expand to next. And the area on yeah. the top left is probably, you know, going to be more of a family style launch coaster. Kind of okay. in this area. Yeah, cool. um, I use the cheat that, or the tool that Mike Sheets has used to try to get smooth, natural, elevated paths instead of the awkward ones when <laughs> that you use in the game for the terrain. Um, and then definitely an RMC um probably a little bit more kind of back in the park and then that area where i've kind of trained it a little bit you know just using the um um the arrow coaster but yeah we got about a minute left so what are your what are your overall thoughts i think uh this is uh my favorite ones uh in all of your uh creation mm -hmm. uh, because uh, everything is well designed everything is well thought uh we have um uh different type of fencing, different type of path. Uh, everything is right in place. So, uh, and it, this is so realistic, you know? Yeah, I really appreciate uh, it. You did, it's it's like, um, it's like a, a real pack uh, um, should, should, should done it, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, the video is about up. So I thank you so much, Benif, for joining me. And thank you, everybody, for watching. And stay tuned as we will begin working on the second part of the series. Thank you for joining me. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.